Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Lorraine Murray. You're Lorraine Murray. You're at the uh, Pahrump Fall Festival. Did yes. you get to see the parade? I saw a piece of it. I was in it, so I... Oh, you were in it. it. <laughs> you were in it. Why were you in it? I'm a candidate for the State Assembly for District 36. Oh, I see. And that covers uh, Pahrump and Nye County? It does. It covers all of Pahrump and Nye County, as well as Lincoln County, Esmeralda County, Mineral County, and part of Churchill. So what made you decide to run for the uh, State Assembly? Well, I've spent the last several years being on the Prump Town Board and the Regional Planning Commission, and I've worked with the Capital Improvement Task Force, and the, I've discovered that there's many items in the Nevada Revised Statutes that uh, are not very friendly to the rurals. They help a lot of the Clark County issues or Washoe County issues, but we need more consideration for the rural communities. So I want to go up there and speak up for the things that we need. Okay, well, why do you think that you're qualified to, and, and a voter should vote for you then for that position? Well, I have many years' experience working for a large corporation, AT&T, so I have a background in finance and human resources and organizational design. I have a great deal of experience working with contracts and legal documents, uh, so I'm pretty familiar with that. And all of the experience I've had now in the local government, identifying the issues that are important to Pahrump and the rural communities, and I feel that uh, with my relationship with the existing legislative members, that uh, I could get an ear for the things that we need to be heard on. What are some of the main issues you feel that is facing uh, the district that you're running for uh, in the state of Nevada? Uh, well, you can kind of look at the entire state of Nevada, and you can see that there's way too many things on the list that, of the nation that we're down at the bottom. You know, we have a problem with uh, getting our education plan right. I believe that the decisions about how the education is delivered should be brought down to the local level so the people that design that can get the support from the state that they need to deliver a high quality education throughout all the rural areas. Uh, we need more attention to our health care services, affordable health care, um, and benefits. We are very bad in the national standings for having children that are uninsured, and we need to take some action to correct that. Obviously, it's important for us to protect our water here in the rural areas because the large growing metropolises are looking for places to get water, and we don't want them to look in our backyard. <laughs> Uh, you bring up water. Uh, White Pine County has got some significant water issues whereby I think uh, Clark County is uh, trying to buy their water or get, obtain their water. They've already entered into an agreement and they have a plan to bring a pipeline from White Pine County down to Clark County. And uh, it will be going through Lincoln County, which is one of the areas that I represent. So they're a little concerned that somebody might be looking in their area as well. Um, but they had shown some interest in Nye County. We're battling that to protect here. We've got growth coming, and we need to keep that water to sustain our economy and our growth. And might I understand, then, that you're not in favor of selling Nye County water to Clark County? I oppose that. All right. Um, you mentioned a moment ago about working with uh, other legislators if you get elected and so forth. Uh, let me ask you about Dina Titus. She's a lady running state senator right now, yeah. running for governor. And do you feel like you can work with uh, Senator uh, Titus if she gets elected? Absolutely. I, I think that Dina has a real feel for the rural areas. She's a person who the people in the rural areas already recognize because she has been out working as a senator in all the parts of the state, and she continues to do that in her campaign. She's somebody who really listens, and uh, she has a wonderful platform. There are several things that have been brought forward from the legislature in past sessions that were good for our communities, and they got vetoed at the governor's office. So I think it's important that we have someone who understands our issues and will not stand in the way of the things that we need to see done. And I think Dina would do that. She and I have uh, been working together as well as some of the other assembly members uh, looking at many programs that will benefit all of the citizens in, in District 36. There's another lady, uh, uh, Jill Derby, running for the United States Congress. Uh, are you acquainted with uh, Mrs. Derby? Yes, I've met with Jill Derby several times. As a matter of fact, she's also been drunk repeatedly. The first time that she came out, I was fortunate enough to be the person who took her on the tour around town. 
to be able to point out to her some of uh, the things that we want attention and how the federal government, especially since Nevada is mostly rural, um, federal owned lands, some of the issues that we need to do to open up some of the lands for economic, for economic development, but also to protect um, our natural resources. Okay. Uh, while I'm at it, uh, let me ask you about uh, another gentleman, I think it is, that's running for the United States Senate, uh, Jack Carter. Are you acquainted with Mr. Carter? Okay, wait a minute. See those Harleys? They're always getting in the way, aren't they? <laughs> you keep those Harleys quiet, you can get some business done here. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, so assuming you can, we can be heard, uh, uh, Mr. Carter, uh, you know him? Yes, yes, I've met Jack Carter. Um, he also has uh, been out campaigning throughout the state. I've run into him at several of the events that I've been at, is in Fallon and Caliani, et cetera, and he and his wife. Um, and, again, you know, we're going to need a lot of balance in our federal government, a lot more attention to the important issues of Nevada, and I feel that both Jill and Jack will be a good team for making sure that Nevada gets uh, front and center with the attention we'd like to get from the federal government. Uh, Attorney General, State Attorney General, are you acquainted with the candidate uh, for that? Absolutely. Catherine Cortez Masto is, is the most professional, most qualified, outstanding Attorney General candidate, and uh, I would support her 100%. And for State Treasurer? Right, we have a candidate for state treasurer, Kate Marshall, and uh, she's one of our rural girls. And that lady is just absolutely dynamic. Anybody that meets her will see her energy and listen to her. You'll find out the great ideas that she has and the importance that the treasurer's office plays in a lot of the things that have going on in the state, including the Millennium Scholarship and the, uh, balancing our budget and making sure that our money is invested in a way that it holds our taxes down and uh, we can have the funds we need to run the state. One other uh, office that uh, comes to mind that has to do with fiscal control and so forth is uh, Kim Wallen, I believe her name is, running for controller. And are you acquainted with Mrs. Wallen and how do you get along with her? Yes. Um, Kim Wallen is a fabulous candidate. Um, my husband always likes to say, you know, she has more initials after her name than I have in mine. Uh, she is the most qualified individual. She has just recently, I don't know if you knew this, but she's been recognized on a national level as uh, one of the top women in finance and accounting in the entire United States. And she's won several awards in the past as well. She's really, really a dynamic, very qualified individual, and uh, if we don't vote for her, we'll be making a big mistake. So, as a, a voter myself, am I to understand that uh, all of you are successful, you can work as a team to make some changes in government for the better? Yes, I believe that the Democrats have a very strong platform that we're running on. There's already 400 uh, supported bills it, that are coming before the legislature, and uh, there are some important issues that we can work on together and across party lines to get things in Nevada the way that they are uh, all of the citizens here deserve to hold down the cost and yet deliver the services that will make us move up that list in the nation for the states that people want to. Uh, to look to as a role model for the way to get things done. Well, uh, again, as a voter, uh, if I wanted to learn something more about you, do you have a website or something that I can go to and, and read more and learn more about you? Absolutely. Um, I'm always open to getting telephone calls or emails or meeting with anybody who has any issues or questions, and all of that information is listed on my website, which is www. LorraineM.com. I better spell it for you because it's a little bit memorable. It's L A U R A Y N E M, like Murray.com. And what would be the phone number I'd reach you at if I needed to talk to you in person? The best place is to call my cellular phone, which is 702 682 5666. Thank you, Mrs. Murray. I appreciate the interview.